Robert Mueller has the goods. But on whom Reuters Kevin Lamarck multiple outlets tonight are reporting that Robert Mueller, the special counsel in the probe of the Trump campaign's possible Russia collusion, has made his first charges in connection with the investigation. The charges were approved by a grand just impaneled in Washington, D.C., by Mueller and his team of investigators and lawyers. They have been sealed by a federal judge, so few in Washington know who has been charged, what specific charges have been filed, or when more information will be shared with the public. Speculation among former Department of Justice officials and legal experts centers on the fact that the public knows about these indictments at all. It's unusual and would be a serious violation, Matthew Miller, a former Department of Justice spokesman under the Obama administration, told The Atlantic on Friday evening. Mueller's investigation is taking place under the purview of Deputy U.S. Attorney General Rudd Rosenstein, since Attorney General Jeff Sessions recused himself due to his involvement with the Trump campaign during the 2016 election. As Matt Ford and Adam Sir were at The Atlantic explained at the heart of Mueller's investigation is the extent and nature of Russian interference. U.S. intelligence agencies concluded in December that the Kremlin deployed cyberattacks and stolen documents in an effort to damage Hillary Clinton's presidential bid and bolster Trump's chances. Comey told Congress in March that part of the investigation's purview include allegations that the Trump campaign had colluded with Russian government officials to undermine Clinton's campaign. Trump has strongly denied he collaborated with Moscow during the election. The likely next steps in the investigation now have many concluding that Trump campaign officials like former manager Paul Manafort, current White House officials like Jared Kushner, former White House officials like National Security Advisor Mike Flynn, and or members of Trump's family, like Donald Trump Jr., could be preparing to surrender to federal agents as soon as Monday morning. Who ya got? Stefan Beckett at Beckett October 28, 2017 on Twitter. Many are expecting Trump to continue what has appeared to be a pattern of sharing divisive, confusing, or altogether unrelated information, as he has seemed to do whenever the Russia probe rose to the top of the news cycle buckle up. We can expect Trump's efforts to confuse and divide Americans against each other to shift into overdrive. Don't fall for it. Evan McMullen at Evan. McMullen October 28, 2017 Trump's defenders, including former White House operative Sebastian Gorka, have continued their campaign to investigate and remove Mueller from his post. The anti-Mueller camp regularly divert attention back to claims that the Clinton campaign was complicit in Russia's interference in the 2016, despite the fact that her campaign is not currently under investigation and that Donald Trump was the winner of the 2016 election. It is now commonly agreed, after many months of costly looking, that there was no collusion between Russia and Trump. Was collusion with H.C. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump October 27, 2017 on Twitter? Many users are worried about the fallout from indictments and how the president may respond to them. There has long been a fear that Trump would fire Mueller, as he has the power to do, if and when the former FBI director's investigation began to yield indictments and prosecutions, as they appear to have done tonight. America now needs to prepare for a possible constitutional crisis. Donald Trump has no regard for the rule of law, or Robert Mueller, Justin Hendricks at Justin Hendricks October 28, 2017 in a development that is possibly related, Dana. Boante, U.S. Attorney for Eastern District of Virginia, resigned earlier today. Boante, who served as acting attorney general after Trump fired Sally Yates, has no direct connections to the Russia case, but there is speculation online about the timing of his resignation, especially as it relates to the possible dismissal of Mueller. Boante has said he will stay on in his post until his successor is found. Meanwhile, CNN has also reported that Trump has turned his attention back to his former opponent, Hillary Clinton, and sought to accelerate the release of the remainder of the State Department emails that fired FBI Director James Comey had previously investigated and cleared of criminal activity. I don't know why he was forced out, just that a few days ago he was telling people he couldn't wait to go back. Then suddenly resigns, Matthew Miller at Matthew Miller October 28, 2017 As the news unfolds, Roger Stone, a longtime Time Trump confidant, is levying a bevy of attacks across the mainstream media landscape Of course, no matter how serious the charges or fallout for American democracy may be, all systems on joke Twitter continues to operate nominally.